Yes, sir. Y'all see it. Got my little toolbox. Hey. That's all I need, man. That's all I need. Craftsman junk. It's going to be in the garage pretty soon. The drawers. I ain't putting them in here yet. Maybe I can get a little organized now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can get a little organized now. Yeah, they did that. Top of the morning, top of the morning to everybody, man. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that jazz. Uh, shoot, it's gonna be a slight day today. That gonna go clean up these cars and uh, go clean up these cars and uh, get back. I don't know if y'all can tell, but they dirty. Everything in the yard dirty. Tahoe dirty, Durango dirty, Central dirty. We gonna go on and clean these things up. The thing is, man, like it's been, uh, what well, it's been about, it's been cold, man. Uh, 20, you know, in the teens and 20s and stuff here. So we finally got a warm day. So you know what time it is. It's time to, time to get it together and clean up clean up everything so I'm gonna be lazy today and take it to the car wash uh, so cuz I need I need all three of them clean and I got a lot of other stuff going on my son got a basketball game tur tournament tonight well a three-day tournament actually so uh, we, we busy over here man so I'm gonna do it as quickly and as good as possible but uh, yeah, we're gonna get up out of here, clean up these vehicles. We're gonna come back and I'll show y'all what I got going on with the Monte Carlo right now, which is not too much. It's, it's, it's what's about to be going on with the Monte Carlo. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna go get these things cleaned up. Yes, sir, she beamed up. Beamed up. We got two more to go. more to go but this thing is beamed up y'all we working it's too warm outside to be doing nothing too warm out here to be doing nothing dog we gonna beam them up today Inside done. Well, not all the way done, but I done vacuum. Wipe down the door, uh, the door jams. Hey man, y'all don't forget them door jams. Matter of fact, just cup out the But y'all don't forget them door jams when y'all cleaning these cars, man. A lot of people neglect that. But when you open up them doors, man, if your car clean on the outside and you open up them doors, that's the first thing you see. You want them things clean too. Yes, sir. Love me some nice weather. 60 degree weather? You gotta do Centra. Y'all see that man, the, the wind, bad weather, them blue shit everywhere. Got to do the Sentra, do my daughter's car, and then got to do my car. Uh, my my hoe over here. She ne she get neglected a lot, but you got to do her. You, as you can see, look at the back window. First indication that that thing need to be cleaned up. Dirty.
filthy. Got me a fresh new dent right there. People say it build character. Hey, it's an 07. It got a dent in it, it'll be, it'll be all right. As long as it get me from point A to B. She's still clean though. Y'all see that? That's, that's why I say clean your door jams when you cleaning your cars, man. Clean your door jams. Wipe your panels down. That make a big difference. Big difference. Look at that. That's nasty. And the bottoms of your doors too. Bottoms of the doors. Come on, man. What up, y'all? Hey, I'm back. It's the next day. Uh, I didn't get to finish what I wanted to do yesterday because, you know, I got a family. I got things to do, man. I got priorities. Uh, my son had a basketball game last night. They got a little uh, tournament going on, a three-day tournament. So uh, I had to go to his game. party to go to so i didn't get to finish up yesterday but we back outside today it's another 60 degree day um another 60 degree day i'm all tongue twisted but uh we outside again man um i got got all the cars washed up well except my daughter's because when i got ready to wash her car up uh she rolled out so you know what i'm saying she, i guess she'll take care of that herself but um i got the tahoe cleaned up i got the durango cleaned up got the monte carlo cleaned up so i'm gonna show y'all what they looking like and um and show y'all show y'all what i you know a couple of gifts i got over the holidays man like i'm definitely blessed man to have a family that i got and for them to just you know what i'm saying listen to me and know what kind of stuff i'm into and uh you know what i'm saying it's just a blessing man and it worked both ways, man. I listened to them. They send me what they want. They show me whatever. And uh and we make we we make it we make it fun, man. We take care of each other. But uh instead of y'all keep seeing my face and talking, man, let's go ahead and get back into the video. Yeah, yeah. So as y'all can see, man, we beamed up. Just like I showed y'all yesterday. We beamed up. All three of them beamed up inside and out. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, door jams and everything, man. You got to get them door jams right. It's my 07 thing here. She clean, man. She clean. I take good care of her. I take real good care of her. If I must say so myself, man. She she looked pretty good for for 07. I'm gonna be fixing that. It'll be on a video soon too. I gotta get my baby right. Throw my rounds back on this thing. Back seat. Yeah, she clean, man. Third row. But yeah, I'll take care of her, man. You take care of it, it's gonna take care of you for sure. Y'all already know about this thing here. Huh? 
she definitely definitely stay clean yes sir we is outside man we outside Thing still holding, still holding. Yes, sir. Rango all cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? Inside and out. Door jams. Man, y'all see that? Hey, that one million, man. Look, if y'all ain't on that one million, you I don't know where you been, man. But you slipping. Take my advice, man. Get you some of that one million. Uh that one million. Anything made by uh Paco. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but Paco Rabon, whatever. Anything made by that person or company or whatever, man, it's going to be, it's going to be fire, dog. Uh, so I got the 1 million and then it's, um, I got some other one called, uh, Phantom. I actually got that for Christmas. Um, it's, it's real nice. It got like a little robot, uh, type thing on it. It looked like a robot with an R on it and it say, uh, and it's called Phantom. That jump nice, man. It smell real good. And then they got the Invi uh, Invictus or Inviticus or whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But that smell good too, man. Y'all check it out. But uh, this Craftsman here, I already showed y'all in the house. I'm about to get it put in the garage. One of my Christmas gifts, man. Like, I was like a little kid when they gave me this thing. Got the wheels on it, so she roll, turn, everything. So hopefully I can get a little more organized in the garage now that I got this big toolbox. I'll put a lot of my tools in there and stuff. And um, yeah, I, like I said, I'm very unorganized at this moment because I've been having so much going on, but I'm trying to get more organized and this really gonna help me out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I got that. I got a couple more things in the trunk. If I can find my key. I got a couple more things in the trunk that uh that I got for Christmas as well. So this thing like a like a storage trunk right now, y'all. But um so as y'all saw on last video, the uh two tens and the amp. Man, hey, the feedback that I got on the 10s and the amp and the wiring kit and everything, man, I really appreciate y'all. If y'all coming in on that video and gave me any advice, like I said, uh, I appreciate it because I'm not an audio person. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know. You know, I've had systems and stuff before, but I never really been into it like that. So, and, um, and I kind of, you know, I understand the ohms and bridging and stuff like that, but I just, I, I just really... Like I said, I, I don't know everything. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll take all the advice that I can get, man. And I, I got some good advice from a lot of people, um, which I also found out something else about this amp that I was telling y'all. It was like 500 watts RMS uh, at four ohms. It's also 900 watts uh, RMS at one ohm. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might hook it up both ways and see how it sounds or whatever. Um, but, you know, we'll go we'll go from there. And I'm definitely going to keep you all updated on whatever I do. Um, also, I, I got some feedback on the shallow mount subwoofers. I had a couple people, well, one person I think said that I needed a bigger box than what I'm trying to go for. But, I mean, I'm not sure. Like I said, I mean, y'all more experienced than I am with this stuff. But... When I talked to Scar, when I before I ordered these, I told them what I was trying to do, and they recommended the shallow mount, 
because these are the speakers that they use for trucks or you know under the seat or behind the seat or whatever and they have real small boxes so i, I went with these and um i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put a big box in this area like i don't want that i don't like it so i'm still gonna put my small box back there you know as big as i can get it i, I don't know how big it's gonna be but you know i gotta Taking into account my six by nines right there, so the box may have to be built around that or whatever. But uh, I want my box back there on that lip, just like my speakers are sitting right now. I don't want them in this big area. I want to. I'm doing something else with that. So, you know, <clears throat> if it work out, it work out. If it don't, oh well, you know, whatever. But hey, hey ain't ain't all about negativity, so. I'm going to just say it's going to work out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, so I got my, man, I got a a Bluetooth um cooler speaker. I mean, I drink beer, but I don't really drink Bud Light. But, you know, my hey, my my family know me well, man. It got a, a bottle opener. Got the speakers on it. It's a cooler. So I would also have, uh, like, uh, whatever the thing called that you wrap what you wrap around your can to keep them cold or whatever so I'm definitely gonna put this to use I mean today would be a good day to put it to use actually and man I ain't even realized that it hold 24 cans so you know what I'm saying that's that's perfect especially for like a beach day or something man take this out there on the beach man and just sit up and chill sure you know the beach like 10 minutes from me so I go out there and chill a lot. Um, this is something else that I told y'all last time that I had coming. It's a tar amps uh, amp. Man, look how look how small this box is. Like I was tripping a little bit when I got it because I didn't realize I didn't know how small it was. So I was like, man, is this really gonna do anything? So I went and looked at more reviews on it and. Um, they say this little thing do pretty good. So I got this for like my mids and highs. So I got Pioneer 6x9s in the back. And um, I have three and a halves in the front. I'm not sure if I can put those on this amp because the RMS on them things are only like 30 watts. I'm not sure. And this is a 400 by 4. 400 watts, 2 ohms. So, and it's 400 watts RMS also. So that's not like, you know, it's 100 watts per channel, four channel amp. So uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I heard this was a good brand. Uh, it came recommended by, so my homeboy, uh, 85G-Spot recommended it through somebody else that recommended it to him. So I was like, what the hell, I'll go ahead and jump on it. Uh, this was like $70 off Amazon. Um, the part number... Well, I guess it's, uh, this is the information. I don't really know what the part number is or how you find it, but TS 400 by four. I'll put the link in the description for this. Yeah, also with this amp, like I said, I got the six, the Pioneer six by nines in the back. Uh, they are 125 watts RMS a piece. Um, like I don't know about the front speakers. Like I said, I got three and a half up there. They're pioneers too, but I think they like 30 watts RMS or something. Not sure, but I know it's real low. So my plan may be to go on ahead and do them kick panels. Um, so I might do five and a quarter kick panels and five and a quarters back there in the in the back. Um, so y'all let me know. If y'all think that's a good idea to do the five and a quarters back here, along with the six by nines that I got back here. Hey, y'all see that? Shout out to Mr. G Body, man. And if I do do the uh if I do do the, the five and a quarters in the back, that's gonna be uh Mr. G Body as well as the kick panels. If I do the five and a quarters there, I don't know if I'm gonna do both or one or the other i'm not sure um i'm pushing more towards 
maybe just doing the kick panels um but you know just for my liking cause, you know for my words and this and that and i don't really i don't think i really need anything else in the back other than just for it to look good or whatever um but y'all tell me what y'all think man like i said i'm not big on this audio thing so um you know y'all tell me what y'all think about the amp as well as putting five and a quarter kick panels and or five and a quarter uh the little rear rear things right there so y'all let me know what y'all think man A lot of people told me to get rid of that Kenwood amp and do something else, but uh, like I said, I'm I'm not big on loud music and all that, so it may be just fine for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to do a little something, something. But if I find that it's you know ain't gonna work for me, I just go back to Scar and uh, get an amp. You know that was that they put with these speakers. Um, but yeah, a couple other gifts. Actually, this one. This is my wife's, uh, yeah, we both sneaker heads, man. So this was a gift that I got for her. The uh, women's starfish ones. They tough, man. I like them. Look at the detail on the, uh, on the leather. Like it's buttery, like soft. So yeah, a little caught for her. You know, she she work at the at a school and uh she wear she wears sneakers. She able to wear sneakers every day so she don't have to like dress casual or anything. I messed up the box right there, but it'll be alright. I think she's gonna get some of the clear boxes for her closet anyway. And then if you know anything about sneakers, man, y'all already know what these are. These are mine. Good friends, family, you know what I'm saying? Like friends that have became family. They cop these for me. If y'all watching this, thank you. You know what I'm saying? To the Williams family. This was my Christmas gift from them. Man, hey, when you do good, when you do good by people and, and everything, man, it, it, it doesn't go unnoticed, man. It doesn't go unnoticed. And this is a prime example of that. So this is something I've been wanting. And uh, they hooked me up, man. They definitely hooked me up. So, I appreciate that, man. To my Williams family, man. If y'all watching, you know, hopefully y'all are. And uh, I appreciate that. I love y'all, man. So, yeah, so this is what we got. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a trunk full of junk right now, but, you know what I'm saying? It's a process. And we gonna get there, man. You know what I'm saying? Show it surely but slowly but surely we will get there we will get there y'all don't get discouraged on these bills y'all keep working toward that main goal man y'all keep working toward that main goal a lot of y'all been rocking with me ever since i started the channel so y'all know how far i've come we done came a long way and I had did a lot before I even started the channel. So I wish I would have got all that stuff, but you know, I didn't. You know, a better better late than never. Better late than never, man. But y'all see where we at. Don't get discouraged on these bills, man. Don't get discouraged. Cause there is light at the end of the tunnel, man. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and end it. Got some things going on today. My son got his third game today. Uh, at like seven tonight. Uh, they won both of their games. They made it. This is the... Yeah, so like I was saying before, my phone decided to go dead on me. Uh, my son got another game tonight. Uh, he plays JV for his school. Um, so they got another game tonight. They won their first two games of the tournament. So this is the championship game. If they win tonight, then, you know, they get a, get a nice little trophy, some bragging rights, you know. Not no participation trophy, 
you know what I'm saying? Because they literally put in work, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, hopefully, hopefully they do good tonight. Of course, I'm going to be rooting them on. And uh, hopefully they come home with that ship. Uh, also, while I went in the house, I went on and grabbed this. Um, this is the cologne, the other cologne I was telling y'all about that I got. It's like a little robot. Um, and it's called Phantom. Man, you can't even see that on camera. But anyway, it's called Phantom. Uh, it smells real good. Um, so... Yeah, y'all check this out, man. When y'all out in the mall shopping or whatever, y'all do a little a little tester on it. Uh, like I said, anything Park Over Bond or whatever it's called, uh, One Million, Inviticus, uh, Phantom, all that stuff is good, man. So I'm actually going to end this thing now. Uh, y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Because we doing G-body shit over here all the time. 87SS, boy, we out of here. Catch y'all on the next one.